Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making something sort of not quite baking baking, but it is baking because it's going to go into the oven. And it is a chocolate macadamia praline crunch. So it's sort of a garnish, something you can put on top of a cupcake. Uh, you can put it on top of, uh, you know, a, a big cake, or you can put it on top of muffins, or you can just scatter it on ice cream. It would be delicious. It's crunchy. It's got macadamia nuts, rich and buttery. And it actually is a very thin, almost like a wafer that I'm going to crush up and mix with rice cereal and chocolate. And it's going to be awesome. So the first thing we have to do is make the praline part of it. And this is really a quick praline. Uh, but before we get started, I want you to click that notification button. I want you to become a subscriber and I don't want you to miss any of my tips or videos because they're pretty awesome. And I love having you with me in the kitchen. So first of all, over a hot plate, I have four tablespoons of unsalted butter and I'm gonna put that with some uh, about one, let's see, this is one third cup of light brown sugar. And I'm gonna be bringing this all to a boil. So I'm trying to get my, um, trying to get this all on really hot. Hot, hot, hot. Here we go, here we go. Now we're cooking. Sometimes this thing has a mind of its own. All right, all right, here we go. So we are putting the butter and the brown sugar. So that's four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And we're putting that one third cup of light brown sugar and I've packed it, so it's packed. And then I'm going to be putting one quarter cup of light corn syrup in there too, all right. When you measure it, you can also spray your measuring cup with some nonstick cooking spray, and that'll prevent it from sticking on the inside of your liquid measuring cup. Good idea, right? So I'm just going to put that in there. And then I'm going to keep this going and keep it almost boiling. I want the butter to melt. I want everything to get ooey and gooey. In the meantime, I have preheated my oven to 325 degrees. It's sort of an oven praline. Uh, so you'll be making the base of it in the saucepan where you're going to get that brown sugary, beautiful, caramelly flavor. And then we're going to bake it into one large sheet, very thin sheet. So you can see it melting. All right, you can see it melting and I'm going to up it. Sometimes this thing is a little temperamental. All right, so I'm going to get that going. And once it comes to a boil, I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to add some toasted, slightly crushed macadamia nuts. So you can make them as fine as you want them. I like a little texture. So I made them like that, sort of coarse, coarse chopped macadamia nuts. Uh, I took half a cup and then I have, um, let's see, I have cake flour, which is one third cup of cake flour. So I'm going to bring this to a boil and it's going pretty, pretty fast. I'm gonna grab a hot mitt so I don't burn my marble slab. And I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then remove it from the heat. And I'm gonna add in my cake flour, all right? Um, my half a cup of macadamia nuts and I'm going to add my one third cup of cake flour. So I have it like that, you see that? And then it's almost gonna make like a thin batter so I'm going to add my cake flour first, add it all at once, and whisk it up. And then I'm going to add my macadamias that have been toasted and coarsely chopped, let's say. All right, and you can see what it, this looks like. See it? It's almost like a batter. And I have my rubber spatula handy because this is going to spread out on a sheet pan. And what you want to do is you want to have a sheet pan covered with parchment paper and the sheet pan must have sides. Some sheet pans are flat. Don't put it on a flat sheet pan because it'll 
ooze over onto your oven, and then I'll get nasty, uh, nasty comments. Chef Gail made me clean out my oven. So I want you to line a big sheet pan, or it could be two smaller ones. And I am actually going to put this, the whole thing, and spread it onto my sheet pan. And it will spread out and form like a praline. We're going to bake it, not for too long, but we're going to bake it until a thin, crispy, bubbly layer forms. And then we're going to break it up and add it to melted chocolate with a little butter and toasted rice cereal. Yum. And then when you crush that up, try putting that between a cake layer or between, uh, you know, on, on a cake or ice cream or anything like that. And it's awesome. So I'm just going to break it up. Well, not break it up, spread it out. Spread it out. The baking will come, the breaking will come after we're done. So here we go. All right, I need my offset. I need my offset. Here's my offset spatula. So I'm going to be putting this in the oven about 16 minutes, but I need you, I gave a time of 16 when I, uh, when I test this, but it may take a little bit longer or a little less depending on your oven. But what you want to do is really spread it out. Spread it out so it's, it's not pretty. It's not going to be pretty. Not until it's all put together and really crumbles uh, and melts in your mouth. Like a real praline, really delicious. Of course, you can use any nut you want, but I really, I don't know, the macadamia nut doesn't get enough attention, you know? So I decided to up the game of the macadamia nut. So I'm going to put this in the oven about 16 minutes. It's going to be bubbly, and I'll see you back at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. See you back. Look at my macadamia praline crunch. You just want to bite into it. So if you take an offset spatula, it'll actually come off in one piece. It's gorgeous, but you can break into it. So this is like a praline, and as it cools, it gets firm and cr crunchy. You hear it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop a little bit and I'm going to put it about a half a cup of it into three cups of toasted rice cereal. Any type of toasted rice cereal you like and I'm just going to sort of coarsely chop it because we're going to be putting this on different things. So you might even see a recipe coming up and it might be in the filling of a special cake that I will be making. So what I like to do is mix this with a little bit of chocolate and butter. So I have two tablespoons of butter and a third of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips that I have melted together. You can do it over a double boiler or you can just do it over uh, a very, very low, uh, low flame on your, on your stove. If you are brave enough, you can do it in the microwave. I prefer not to do it like that because I always find that sometimes microwaves are a little stronger uh, than you anticipate unless you know the power of your microwave and you sort of can, can do, you know, do it on a lower, a lower power. So I'm going to mix this up and it's going to be lovely. And then we're, once we mix all this up, it's about a half a cup. I'm going to put this in here, and okay, I'm going to scatter it around, and I'm going to put my chocolate and butter mixture in there, and then you can save the rest of this praline for another use, and I'm sure you will find a lot of uses for it, okay? So I'm going to take this loveliness, okay, you see that, and I'm going to take a paper towel so I can wipe. You always want to avoid chocolate and water, okay? Sort of like the Wicked Witch of the West type of thing. So you want to wipe down the bottom of that bowl so it's not wet before you add your chocolate and your butter. So see what happened? Two tablespoons of unsalted butter with a third of a cup of chocolate. I'm going to put that over here on top of our beautiful 
Now chocolate macadamia praline crunch. And then we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and chop it so we can use it inside fillings or chop it up and put it on top of a cupcake, whatever you wanna do. There's so many different uses. I would love this on top of ice cream. That's how I like it. Um, but you can do whatever you want. You can mix it into a brownie batter. You can put it into cookies. Just sort of mix this around. It's sort of a fancy Rice Krispie treat, but we don't need the marshmallows. And you're just gonna let all this come together and firm up in your fridge. So I'm gonna put this whole tray, I have a wax paper lined sheet pan. I'm gonna put that right into my refrigerator and then I can do whatever I want with it. But again, look into Look into the future so you can see some videos where I'm actually going to be using this gloriousness, okay? So here we go. We're going to oh, pick up the big bowl and pour it down. And then we're going to let that chocolate harden, all right? So you can see it's not something you're going to break your teeth on. It's just something that is going to give a beautiful, nice crunch to whatever you're making with it. So I hope you make this beautiful praline, uh, macadamia praline, and I hope you make it into my chocolate macadamia praline crunch. I hope you become a subscriber. Till next time.